Today I'd like to talk a little bit about um, portable video production. You know, with the introduction of things like the, the iPhone and um, other portable media devices, but specifically your phone. I mean, this thing, you know, is 128 gigs of memory and the, the, the video quality is actually very, very good. And sometimes having this on hand, you know, you can do so much with it, but the problem has always been, you know, really good audio. Uh, you're limited by whatever microphone has been on, on the phone itself. So today I'd just like to talk a little bit with regards to uh, gear that you can get, and fairly inexpensive gear, but really good gear if you have like an interview that you need to do, but you don't necessarily have the means to take all your regular um, professional recording gear with you, but you still want to get it capture a good, good video and maybe uh, the, the audio as well. So what I have with my little bag of goods today is, uh, first of all, I love these Audio-Technica little pouches. You can get them about $8 online through Amazon.com or maybe some of the other online retailers like B&H and, and elsewhere. But I really, really like these. They just, they're good quality fabric and zipper and they're just really handy for carrying stuff. So I have a couple here today. We'll first talk about you know, securing or, or mounting your phone. There's, there's quite a few different options out there and um, I've spent a considerable amount of time researching and going through different ones. And this shoulder pod is the one that I've settled, settled on eventually. It's uh, really well built, it has nice rubber feet here. Um, to that kind of grasp the, the phone itself and it's adjustable so it, it can take quite a few different sizes of phones from iPhones 4s to Samsung's Galaxy 5s and of course even the iPhone 6 Plus which this one is here uh, even with this case on. So it has a little adjustable um, dial here you just kind of open it up There, and then we just go ahead and tighten the top just enough to secure it. And that's actually pretty secure. You notice that um, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, the cool thing about this is, too, is on the bottom here, it, take, it has a standard quarter inch screw mount. And, uh, and th this is weighted so with a, with a strap. So if you're not going to mount it on anything, you can actually hold it. And this is fairly comfortable with this weighted bottom here. But for myself, I also got myself an Oban TT100 uh, little mini tripod. And uh, these tabletop tripods, I looked at quite a few of them, and including the Manfrotto. And I felt that this one actually was just built better in, in so many, and has a little bit of better features. Um, it's, it's metal, all metal. And um, this portion here with the ball mount actually does come off itself, so you can even bring it down further if you wanted to. But with the ball mount, you can actually then mount this thing um, like this in a vertical or in a, uh, a portrait or in landscape mode. So we'll go ahead and we'll just add this to here. And then we can position the phone and the camera any way we want to. So this is a really nice, I was really, really impressed with the Oban, I believe that's how you pronounce it, TT100. They do make a uh, model that has an extended riser um, for a few more dollars. It's not very expensive. It's, uh, I think, about $40, I mean, for that, that model. Um, but this is fine in terms of, of mounting it, and there, there are other solutions out there, though this is the one I prefer. But the really big question is, how do you get really good audio, quality audio? And, and having a balanced mic is, is really the different, all the difference in the world. Uh, so uh, doing a little research, I found the iRig Pro. They have one that's very similar to this called the iRig Pre. And it does almost everything this did, does, but the exception is it's analog input. I would looking for something that was digital, pure digital. And this is this fits the bill, and it comes with several different connectors here, um, a mini DIN. This one here plugs into the iPhone standard um, iOS a new, new version, and they do have a legacy cable that comes with it. It also plugs into uh, uh, the, the older iOS devices, but this just plugs in into there. 
And then of course you have your option here to either a quarter inch plug and or a balanced mic in for just demonstration purposes today. I have just a fairly inexpensive Audio Technica Pro 70 uh, lab mic. Um, you can get these in just about anywhere. Um, and of course these operate, they do have a battery. Uh, and uh, they're fairly, fairly nice system. So if you're doing like an interview and something, this, this really would fit the bill. And then of course a XLR cable like this here, uh, which you can pick up just about anywhere as well, any music store for about under ten dollars. So as you can see here, this plugs in fairly simple. And it has a 9-volt battery in here. Uh, it does provide phantom power here, which is really nice, as well as a MIDI port in. So this device is, is fairly compact. Um, unfortunately, unlike the iRig Pre, it doesn't have a means by which you can strap it by itself, you know, if you wanted it, like strap it to a tripod or something like that. Um, but um, a little bit of ingenuity, it wouldn't be too difficult to do that. The only complaint I have about the iRig um, is that it's got a smooth dial here, and I, perhaps they, they purposely did it that way uh, to keep it, somebody from moving it once the, the settings have been uh, set. But it's a little, sometimes a little bit slick to try to move. Um, but uh, overall, solid device. This is a little more expensive than the iRig Pre, of course, running at about 100, and, I think 120 dollars, and the iRig Pre runs about I don't know 30 dollars or so. There's a big difference in price, but with an all-digital input, I mean, I think that really sets the standard, in, and also the quality of build. This feels pretty solid. Now for um, For audio or, or video input, um, there you can use a standard Apple uh, camera mode in the, in the video, or I you can you know bump it up and pay eight dollars and buy the Filmic Pro app. And this is a really solid app. I'm really been pleased with it in terms of this functionality. Uh, but you can see here that uh, it gives all types of an options for um, both audio settings and uh, and video settings alike. And just for this demonstration, I'm going, just going to show you, you know, the benefits of having uh, audio in, direct audio in. So we're going to turn this on and apply phantom power. And you can see the levels here go up as I talk. And uh, so we don't get any clipping, obviously. But, um, you know, t you can see over here on the left-hand side, you know, it's bringing the audio in. Um, the levels are somewhat low at this point. Just bring it up a little bit more. Just got the orange light or yellow light here indicates getting a little bit of clipping. So probably about right there is, is a good indicator. If you have a, um, a gig that requires, you know, where you don't have a lot of time to gather your gear or, or you're, you know, can't carry a lot with you, I mean, this is essentially all you need, just a couple pouches worth of, of gear, maybe a cable, and, or you can, and you don't even have to have a cable. You can even use a wireless device like um, a Sennheiser or some of these others. Now, lighting too is, is critical, obviously. These are a wonderful device here. These are um, the Chinese made. They're called the HDV Z96, and you can get them on eBay and a bunch of other places. But uh, this is, these are LED lighting with, um, uh, magnetic uh, filters on them. They come with an, an orange orange uh, diffuser as well. Um, of course, with a standard, you know, a quarter inch there. And they, as far as power is concerned, you can use standard Sony lithium batteries, which come a dime, dime a dozen, um, fairly inexpensive to buy, um, or just use regular uh, AA batteries in here. Or last case scenario, you can even plug in a power supply here for it. Um, so you have multiple options, this, this little light, and, uh, and of course it's, it's a, a dimmable, so you can adjust the intensity of, of the light there, but um, you can see adding that in the background, you know, you can bring a couple of these with you, and then if you wanted to go any further, 
and and bring a, uh, a stand. These stands are real inexpensive. Um, you can do that as well. So, just showing you what I use when I go on a um, a single shot, and I don't have the means to carry a lot of stuff with me. You know, just my phone, a mini tripod, um, maybe uh, and a mic and a, and a, a cable, and then of course my iRig uh, Pro to come with me. Um, and um, and of course everything's built in. I mean the the cameras or the uh, the recording capability, especially the iPhone 6 Plus, is quite a long time. You can practically shoot a whole motion picture film and then some on this. Um, so it really makes it convenient. And now with the ability to put digital audio directly into your your video, um, is is really the primary thing of of excellence because. Too often times, nothing kills a good video with bad audio, and uh, especially the clarity of the audio. Uh, so this will help rec uh, remedy that completely. And really, in terms of cost, we're looking um, for all this gear. You know, probably under right under um, about two hundred dollars uh, for everything here, minus I should say the lab mic. Uh, lab mics you can in. They have all different kinds of flavors, and you can go, you know, over the top with with an expensive one, but uh, you can find some used ones that would probably work for you. But uh, for the most part, you're looking at a setup about two hundred dollars that will give you the ability to just do a, a simple, high quality, somewhat high quality video, uh, and you can of course render this and do any effects you need to in post. But anyway, I'd just like to share what my um, setup looks like. Anyway, I hope uh, someone finds this useful as uh, and takes a little bit of the guesswork out of trying to figure things out by themselves. Thanks.